Good evening. I'm Molly Trumel here with Deep Dark Tunnel. We are in the tunnel with an admin from Andy Thussey Warhol. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well this evening. Yeah. I'm very, very happy to be here. Excited. This is uh, the, the first interview that Badman F has taken outside of the Andy Thussey Warhol Network. So I'm, like I said, I'm very excited. We're very excited to have you in the tunnel today. Now, we wanted to know, what is Andy Thussy Warhol? Andy Thussy Warhol is a, uh, it's a collective of artists. We're the ones who are responsible for Andy Thussy Warhol fight night. Some just call it Andy Thussy fight night, but uh, we, and as well as other projects, some of them secret, some of them not. You'll never really know where the ATF comes from and when they strike. Uh, but really when it comes down to brass tacks, we're just a collective of people who like to express ourselves through uh, internet arts or memes or whatever you wanna call it. How many people are in your collective? Uh, we got about 13 members. And what do you do exactly? As what do I, I do? Yes. I'm Badman F. I'm the inner animate pro wrestling champion of the country. That's the United States, baby. I'm six and oh, I've gone six Andy Thissy fight nights. They've been fucking gut busting bare knuckle brawls and uh <laughs> and i've come out of everyone on top no no inanimate or an inanimate or animate object can take me on no one can defeat badman f and that's why that's why i got this right here when did you get this belt? I received this championship belt after my victory at Andy Thissy Fight Night 6 live in hashtag NYC. And how did it feel to be in New York? Oh, New York. Don't even get me started about New York. Badman F loves New York. And the people, they love me too because we stole their hearts. And uh, it was great to perform on one of the biggest stages in all of the world, right there at the basketball courts at Seward Park in East Village in Manhattan or whatever. Badman F, where are you from? I'm from a place called Hell, Ohio. That's where me and the other, the other, uh, ATF wrestlers have come from and trained. We've talked about Admin F. Who is Admin F? <clears throat> Admin F? Admin F, also known as Frankie, is this uh, kind of pushover, quiet artist type. They think they're t some, you know, <clears throat> they think they're some type of entrepreneur. They, uh, they sew clothing and they, they do a little bit of their own type of painting. That's uh, kind of boring if you ask me. Um, and they, they call themselves the you know creative head and of Andy. They pretend to be they pretend to be uh, modest, but they're really a hall full of themselves. You know, Badman F doesn't bullshit. But Admin F is a, is a fucking snake. You got to watch out for Admin F. Admin F wants to take credit, wants to take artistic um, credit for Andy Thussy Fight Night and wants to say that they, uh, you know, conceptualized it and that I'm just an actor. I'm one in a million, baby. I'm, uh, I'm the biggest, baddest, underrated prize fighter in the Eastern Seaboard right now. Badman F. Do you yes. like Mark Wahlberg? 
you know, to tell you the truth. I don't really think about Mark Wahlberg at all. Do you break the rules? Badman F has broken every rule in the book, baby. Do you think Admin F creates the rules for you to break? Mm, I don't think um, any of those uh, upper level management and Andy knows shit about shit. I don't think uh, they tell me when to do anything or where to do what. I decide because I'm the fighter. I'm the big bad dirt devil. Thank you for that. Do you mind if I speak to Admin F? Uh, I guess we could make that happen. Good evening, Admin F. Good evening. It is, uh, really nice to be here. I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. You're nervous? Have you yeah, been be interviewed before? Never. Never? Well, let's just say never. Your followers describe you quite as the ladies' admin. <laughs> Who said that? Your followers. <laughs> Damn, you put me on the spot. <laughs> Shit. I got this. I got this. Um, hmm. I, I don't know anything about that. I'm definitely more humble than that jerk Badman F. I just spoke to Badman F. What do you think about Badman F? Badman F is a big jerk. And they think they're all this and that because, you know, they do their act, which is very good. They do very good work. And he is an amazing uh, talent. Uh, but I think he really doesn't um, think about sometimes uh, some of the work behind the scenes that goes into uh, marketing and advertising fight night and clearing the locations and getting the refs the ref paid and uh, getting more slowly more camera people and uh, people to be at the shows to make it run more efficiently. There's a lot of, uh, you know, lots of in and, ins and outs, lots of people to talk to, lots of DMs to send back and forth and uh, paperwork to fill out. And I'm very tired. Now, you've mentioned a term that's like really, I'd say, interesting. Um, algorithmic neighbor and referral to other accounts. What does this mean? Um, an algorithmic neighbor is someone who well, is pretty much like if you think about the algorithm as like a neighborhood or a city or even the whole world, um, you have accounts that are recommended to you to follow. An algorithmic neighbor is someone who is close in proximity to your content on the algorithm. So there's someone who you'll, if you end up following them, you'll probably end up liking more of their content than most other people you follow. Terms like algorithmic neighbor are the most easy, or I guess they're the most, uh, Yes, the, the easiest to, you know, visualize and see represented in a meme page. I don't believe I've seen an algorithmic neighbor for Andy Thussy Warhol, at least as far as my understanding. Do you feel like your content is more unique than other subgroups of these said algorithmic neighborhoods? I think there's a couple people who... I would consider our algorithmic neighbors. I don't, I'm never going to say that Andy Thussy Warhol is like original. I'm not going to say that because I personally don't believe anything is original. And if there's anything that is original about Andy Thussy Warhol, it's that we, sh we don't strive to be original. We very openly 
uh, pay homage to our influences and people that kind of have helped us develop the Andy Fussy Warhol style. And each admin has their own specific style. And if you like, you know, if you're deep into the Fussy verse and you have, you know, done some of your research, you'll know that certain admins have certain styles and they're very easy to tell which admins posted them. But we don't do like admin sign offs or stuff like that. We want it to be like a whole, you know, cacophony of like wild uh, imagery and uh, really kind of like a fever dream experience. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about this meme community and yes, there's communities in everything. There's a SoundCloud community, YouTube community for niches. What exactly describes the meme community that we keep referring to? Um, it's, it's really the Instagram meme community, which there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people in different sections and facets to it, but it's, it's a smaller world than you think or than one would think. I mean, it's not like every memer knows every other memer, but there's a lot of connections within this big web of people who make this, you know, mostly anonymous, cartoonish content, you know, like pretty much our modern day cartoons or, you know, just little things to make us laugh a little and give us a little break from our, our existence, you know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So would you agree that there's sort of a meme account hierarchy established within the community? Uh, there's def there is definitely um, a meme hierarchy and like a lot of it has to do with, I think it mostly has to do with time you've been around and like kind of who you know in the community or who would like kind of vouch for you almost. Mm -hmm. To like be cool like to be chill enough to like be added to a group chat or to like be asked like to collaborate or things like that like there's a lot of different ways to connect with other memers so where did these meme accounts get their content from this kind of brings this question kind of brings us to the differentiation of a meme account and a shit posting account which, you know, for me is pretty much the same thing, but there's a lot of people who wouldn't like me saying that or like hearing that. And so traditionally, a meme account or an OC meme account is an account that makes their own content. And that's not like they're making every pixel, you know, they're using like images they find and text from apps and things like that. And they're using, you know, like, this is why I, my argument from earlier about nothing being original. OC meme creators, they make their own content. Usually, you know, traditionally follow a very specific aesthetic. Um, most of the time, not all of them do. Just by seeing it, you know which memer made it. Or by seeing it, you know which memer is being ripped off you know what i mean like who what who who are they trying to be like and that's why i don't think andy's very original because our original content is so inspired by other memers and it feels so obvious to me anyway and then there's shit posting accounts and shit posting accounts are kind of the accounts that post like the images from the internet it, it's like anything that's on the internet that could be taken for any type of cringe entertainment or any type of entertainment in general uh, is posted by shit posting pages. And they also post like or original content creators content. Um, so that's where it gets tricky. I, I, I think, uh, I personally think that shit posters and meme, original content meme creators can it coexist very well and in fact help each other um but i definitely feel like it's gen it's like generally like more older people yeah you know, i don't want to call some of the people in the community old but they like people who are more like true millennials like 
in their 30s or older like they're more into like the oc meme content creation and then gen z and younger people are into like the shit posting for the most part and so the members at andy are kind of somewhere stuck in between like millennials and gen z and we kind of have this mix of like posting original content and shit posting what would you describe um original content being we actually play with this a lot andy or we have in our past and i i still think we do but like technically someone who steals like um here's a classic move in the meme community that's kind of a big no-no something that's usually considered a big no-no in the meme community is taking someone else's original content and then watermarking it with your own username but doing that literally could be if you're you know being very open-minded that could be considered original content even for instance taking a screenshot of someone else's work can be seen as original content because that screenshot file is not the same as the file that they posted on to the page nothing is original and that's not a bad thing like being original doesn't necessarily make a piece of art good in my eyes so that brings the question do you consider memes to be art um yes i do big time um memes are definitely art and you know a lot of people will say that memes have completely replaced um commercial art as as like the the main medium for expressing and sharing new ideas during like the 60s like when andy warhol was like a thing like he was like during his time like he was a household name everyone knew who andy warhol was like even if you weren't into art you probably kind of knew who andy warhol was now like for instance takashi mirakami followed andy thissy warhol on instagram and I told my parents and they were like, who's that? And to me, he's like probably one of the most famous artists in the world. Like, I don't know if there's anyone more openly known as an artist as him. And the thing is like the art world is so removed from most people. Most people don't know any artist or if they do, it's some bullshit they found on Buzzfeed or, or some local art, which is also great. It's also great to support your local artist big time, but you know, there's like the the art world is so inaccessible and what they're doing is not as exciting as they think it is. So from an outside perspective, I, I I know I follow a lot of accounts and try to keep in, you know, kind of like in on what's going on and all the shit I see is so just whack. It's just terrible. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think it's interesting that you draw that parallel between comics and memes as memes being the new comic. And comics were considered art. And now we have digital collage, which is a meme. I mean, that's a huge shift and it's all accessible via Instagram and distributed amongst each other. Do you think that um, the value of a meme decreases when it's given more exposure or do you think it increases? Um, I definitely think that the more exposure or the more times a meme is shared, the more, um, I guess, I guess valuable. Is that the word you used? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I think the value in it definitely increases, you know, the more people that it is, it's like, it's, it's like, if you, what most people, if you are interested in getting into memes or here, I'll say this another way. If you, if you start making memes in hopes for, to get credit for your original content and your, like my original ideas, you're not doing it for the right reason. And you're probably not in the best place for that type of validation. Well, thank you so much for being here tonight. We're all very excited for fight night number seven and to party the rest of the night with Deep Dark Tunnel on Sunday. Um, 
Can I speak to Vadman F before we conclude this interview? Uh, I guess so. I guess I can make that happen. Mm. Uh, you got Badman F here. What's the question? Hello, Badman F. Do you have anything you'd like to say to the tunnel before concluding this interview tonight? To the tunnel, huh? Mm-hmm. I can think of a couple things I might want to say. I want to say I'm the meanest, I'm the baddest, I'm the maddest, I'm the memeiest fighter in the game right now. I'm the most underrated fighter in the game. I deal the cards. I say when and where and how this shit goes down. I'm not afraid of the deep dark tunnel. I'm not afraid of the deep dark void. I'm not afraid of anything. And that's the double truth, Babe Ruth.